Hello everybody, and welcome back to Orion Ready. Sorry for the delay in videos, I've actually been moving into my college apartment. Kind of fits the bill of the video, which is back to school EDC. So it has been kind of setting up everything, starting my first week back at college, and getting ready to start the semester again. You know, with that being said, this is going to be a seven back to school EDC items. This is primarily tailored for kind of college students, it could be for high school students, I mean, it could be for anybody if you find an item interesting in this video. Everything in this list is going to be $40 and below. I don't have that much money as a college student. I know y'all likely don't have that much money as a college student. So I'm just trying to keep it lower for, you know, me making a video and y'all possibly getting the products. You know, so with that being said, let's jump right into it with the QSP Penguin Pocket Knife. This is a fantastic knife, such a smooth opening. Um, it's, it's a D2 blade with tan micarta handles. Uh, you know, you can get a bunch of different colors. There's jade, there's, um, there's a green micarta I saw, brass. I just went with the tan because it's a little bit unique, a little bit different. With that, it is a deep pocket carry clip and it is reversible. So if you're left-handed, you know, you can easily switch it over and it's, it's a liner lock. So you don't have to worry about it closing on you when you're trying to cut something or etc. I I chose this blade in particular because it's a sheep foot blade. I kind of view it as less threatening, I guess. Um, maybe compared to other knives, which have a point pointy sharp end could frighten some people, but with the sheep foot blade, it's just a little bit more uh, calm, I guess. Uh, also with that, it is a deep pocket carry, so you really won't notice it. It's gonna kinda, you know, when everybody's passing by, you're not gonna see you know, a quarter of your knife sticking out. So it just kinda conceals itself. Um, and I, I, after getting this knife, it's only $32. I really do love the opening, it's so, so smooth. Compared to any other knife I have, this is the smoothest I own. And I, I, I truly do love it. Next item on the list is an Olight IR2 Pro. This runs for about $21. Um, it's 180 lumens. And I mean, this can pack a punch. You know, it has two modes, a, a lower light setting and then the full 180 lumens. And it's really small, can fit on your keychain for when you're, you know, going going around campus. And a, a big reason why I chose this is it's USB-C rechargeable. You don't have to worry about buying um, uh, batteries for it. And you know, as a, as technology is progressing, a lot of things are going towards USB-C. I'm I really am picky when it comes to micro USB rechargeable things because that's outdated and barely any you know, major brand is using them. I think I have five or six USB-C uh, rechargeable items. My laptop's USB-C rechargeable. And my my uh, tablet, not my phone, but you know, so everything's kind of going towards USB-C. So that's why I chose this, this flashlight. It's, you just plug it in, recharge it, go about your day. Next thing is the, and uh, forgive me if I'm saying this wrong, the Piscook, Piscook Fire Starter Necklace. It's actually what I'm wearing right now. Um, you can get a four pack of these for $16. A single is around $7. And they the, the paracord around it is one of those kind of survival paracords. So it has a fire starter strand in it, a cotton thread strand, a uh, 40 pound PE fishing line, and then seven uh, triple ply braided uh, strands. I, I like this because A, they're cheap, if you buy a pack of four, um, and they don't look that bad. I, I, you know, I really do love the Wazoo fire starter necklace, but that's a lot of money for just one necklace and it also doesn't come with a paracord like this does. Uh, you know, I'm gonna cut to a video of me actually uh, taking one of these out 
and starting a fire with the strands inside. So with that, let's cut to that video. Alrighty, so this is what we're working with here. And after cutting the cordage, you're gonna come up to something that kind of looks like this. So you have your multiple strands. Um, and for this demonstration, the fire one is the, the primary purpose of this. So after I cut a piece off, you're gonna come up to something like this, and you're gonna go to the individual strands or the strand and kind of fray it out. Um, there's a little, there we go. You're just gonna kind of do this for all of them. With that, I have here my little Altoids tin, kind of frayed. Um, you know, I'm doing this <laughs> in my apartment <laughs> on the floor, so. With that, here's our little fire starters. Where I kind of had a crack at it, it is a little difficult to get going, but if I can get started here again. You know, it doesn't throw sparks that well, but there you go. It burns kind of quick, so you know, you'll have tinder or whatever. So yeah, pretty nifty. All right, next up on this list is a kind of de-stressor. In college, there's a lot of stress, and you know, you got you gotta have something to relieve that. So this is the Yogi kind of fidget toy. It's uh, kind of what I have on my finger right now. It comes in five ring sizes, so it can really fit you. It's, you know, kind of small and compact. Um, kind of one quarrel I have with it is that it, it free spins and it's not a ratchet it is only it's around 17 bucks and I know in the EDC community there's a there's a big niche of people who love kind of fidget stuff a lot of the time they're super expensive and so I was kind of I was kind of on the hunt to find one which was uh, you know cheaper for everybody um, so I, I really do they come in a bunch of different colors I chose this one because it's just kind of kind of mute feeling or looking and yeah just just something small to kind of get your mind off of things without trying to cause too much noise if you're in the library or etc next is the zebra mild liners you know if you watch my uh edc bag you have seen this in here and i oh i love these highlighters um they this is a five pack for 15 dollars they're kind of mute colors I chose because it kind of fits my MO. Um, you know, tans and greens. They, of course, they have yellow. They have a 20 pack of all the different colors. Uh, these are amazing highlighters. They're so vibrant, as you can see. And there's a, there's a chisel tip and then a um, bullet tip. So you can get more fine or you can get that more typical highlighter style. And I, I'm never going to choose a different highlighter. Um, I think these are great. They're, they're really wonderful. And, you know, if I could recommend anything from this, besides the, the knife, I really, really do enjoy that knife. Um, but it would, it would to get these highlighters for your college or high school or wherever. Note-taking experience. Next was also in my EDC bag, which is the Matador Pocket Blanket. So this runs for $36. It's the most expensive item on here. Um, it is a 63 by 43 big old just ground blanket. Uh, I don't think this is going to provide you any warmth. Um, it's really just for you know, kind of sitting on the grass and keeping your body off of the grass and dirt or wherever. Um, it's, at least for this one, it, it says on the website they can fit two to four people. And I mean, as you can see, it can clearly fit one person, it can fit me studying, it can fit me sprawling about. And um, I, I, I do enjoy this. It has lines on, on the blanket to where you can easily fold. I hate that about products when it's just like, it comes in such a small packaging and then there's no, there's no way to put it back in that packaging how it came in without you know looking up a video or whatever. So this clearly tells you what and how to put it on there or put it back in the packaging. It also has stakes that you can put in the ground, which, you know, easily hide away in the blanket. So, you know, you can secure it wherever. 
There is a smaller one which runs for about $23 and it's a 44 by 23. It looks like it can fit on your keychain. I don't have this one with me, but you know, if you want something smaller than the one shown in the video, then you know, go ahead and look into that. Last before my honorable mention is a spork. Kind of unique. Um, I'll give you that. I There's been a good couple times where I've been on campus and I don't, either they don't have utensils, you know, laying about or, you know, a friend is like, hey, do you, you know, you can have my leftovers or whatever. Uh, try a bit of food. So I do actually carry a spork on me. Uh, there's kind of two that I'm recommending. There's the Human Gear Go Bite, and again, I may be saying this wrong, uh, Quattro uh, Parent, and I think I'm saying that wrong because they have two T's in the title, which is not Quattro, but whatever. Uh, this includes a spork, spoon, chopsticks, and a toothpick. So you get a little bit more from that. Uh, I only carry the, the spork because I lost the spoon, and I, you know, kind of defeats the purpose of the kit. I do have a blue one, which is less uh, less concealed, I guess. Or another thing which I'll recommend. Oh, and that runs for about fifteen dollars. Let me say that. The next thing I'd recommend is the Light My Fire uh, camping sport. Runs for about four dollars. Um, you know, just something. It's a kind of a little, a little less uh, concealing. You know, comparing the two. One is a you know a little bit bigger. You get the whole the, the whole spoon out of it. The other one you don't. And um, you know it's just another alternative for you. That runs for about four dollars. And the honorable mention for me, and you know I'm putting this as an honorable mention because a lot of people may not like how this writes, um, but it is the platinum preppy. It runs for about eight dollars. It's a fountain pen. You know, I kind of got into collecting pens and, um, uh, you know, stuff like that. So this is one of the ones I picked up early on. I think it writes really well. It's uh, clear. So I have actually had people kind of be like, whoa, you know, kind of cool looking. And I do give them that. It's a, definitely a, an awe factor. I've had, had some issues with it writing or continually writing after I've replaced the ink. You know, so if you're trying to just branch out, then yeah, I, I'll recommend it. It's only eight bucks, and it's definitely a unique uh, talking piece. So, with that being said, everybody, you know, thank you for watching today's video. I'm not gonna tell you to like and subscribe; it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, you know, hopefully, look out for the next video in two weeks from now. I'm kind of getting a rhythm going. So, you know, if you have any recommendations, suggestions, or whatever, leave them in the comments below. I uh, really, you know, I want to hear y'all's feedback on what y'all think about the video. So, thank you everybody, and I hope you have an amazing day.